In today's video, we're opening a 2003 Dark Magician Den. What's up guys, we're back with another insane old school opening, including a Dark Magician 2003-10. This is gonna be pretty fun because this is really old at this point. Over 20 years old, classic 2003-10. And this was sent to me. We have a note here, so let's just get to that. Hi to the go, Ruxin. Thanks for all you do. Helps me save money on watching you opening product and making my daily routine fun. Thank you, Ernesto D. P.S. added a giveaway. So shout out to Ernesto in the comments. Here's the giveaway that he sent. There's also more than the Dark Magician 10, by the way. That's not it. We have an Infinite Impermanence, Dogmatica Ecclesia, and one in Secret of the Sinful Spool. Whoa, okay. All right, so we have a couple. We have a Rarity card, Mega Pack 21, and then we have one in Seeker of the Sinful Spoils. I don't know what the Seeker's still going for, but that's a pretty big card. I know that for sure. It hasn't had a reprint yet, so huge giveaway right now. To enter that giveaway, just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and shout out Ernesto in the comments for the awesome giveaway and for the awesome video. Let's show you what else that he sent us. He also sent three other items, actually. We have a Legendary Collection, Kaiba, which is going to be fun. Three packs inside, but these have some banger cards in them, so that's going to be cool. A Legendary Collection 2, which... Has definitely seen some better days. I mean, this thing looks like it's, I don't know what's going on with the front of it, but it should be fine. You know, the pack's inside. We're gonna pull something good. And then a Crossroads of Chaos Special Edition. So that's gonna be really cool. We might pull a Ghost Rare. Who knows? Could be pretty crazy. So a lot to be open today. Let's get right to it. All right, let's start off with the Legendary Collection 2 Dual Academy Game Board. Open it up, see what we can get. All right, here we go. Let's cut this thing open. If I can, this is not really... There we go. Not really any space there. I don't know if you guys have opened these before, but they're kind of hard to open in general. And now this is like even harder. This other side is like stuck. There we go. Got it. All right. We figured it out. Looks like the packs are fine and the promo pack. So we're good there. We have the Raviel. There's a bunch of cards in here. They put like 14 cards in that promo pack. It's kind of crazy. I don't know why they put so many in there, but they did. Okay. Let's do the Legendary Collection 2. Inside, we can get Cyber Dragon stuff. We can get Elemental Heroes. All kinds of crazy stuff. So we have a uh, Blade Edge, Edge Hammer, Malicious. That's a pretty good common. And Nishi, super rare. We have Evil Hero, Malicious Edge, Light and Dragon, and Elemental Hero, Steam Healer. So not a bad start, but I mean, the Secret Rare slot is where we're looking at the big stuff. And, you know, the Evil Hero, Malicious Edge, probably not a great one. Four packs left. Let's keep it going. I mean, four packs in this. We got a lot more after that. We have the Cyclone Blade. Thunder Giants, Destiny and Dragoon, Super. Ooh, Gallus the Star Beast. That's not a good one. Uh, Armatoth Chaos fans, I'm pretty cool. And Gladiator's Proving Ground for Edison, D Chain, Emer, Seacall, and the Flare Neos. Anytime any of these like elemental hero commons are actually worth like usually a dollar or two. So not horrible on those. Secret Rare slot has not been great for us so far, though. We're looking for a little bit better than what we've gotten. And for Ernesto. Ernesto. There we go. Okay, Wing Karibo, Grandmaster. Neo Spatian Air Hummingbird, Deformation, Elemental Hero Captain Gold. Oh, I rocks and special right past the Magma Neos to Destiny Hero Disc Commander, which is okay, I guess, but not amazing. Hydra Get on Ultra Rare. We're definitely not pulling like the big secrets right now. So far, a couple of good cards. You know, Legendary Collection GX has a ton of great cards. So we've pulled a few good ones, not like the huge ones yet, though. I mean, nothing's really, really like huge in terms of value, but Card Trooper is pretty good. Rise of Snake DD, we have DD Survivor. Light of Redemption, Destiny Hero Dreadmaster, super rare. Okay, Vanilla, promising, could be an alternate art elemental hero. I'm going Bristanatrix. Oh, and there we go, we called it. A Flame Manipulator, who is the first elemental hero woman. Her burst fire burns away villainy. Very nice, we have the Evil Hero Infernal Sniper and the Grand Convergence. Okay, very solid pull right there. Bristanatrix alternate art. One more pack here, we're gonna move on to Legendary Collection Kaiba. All right, Featherwind, D-Shield, H-Heated Heart, we have Destiny Hero Dreadmaster. Dandelion, Secret Rare, Card Blocker, and Destiny Hero Defender. Okay, not bad, not bad. All right, let's go to the next one. Not not a bad start. I mean, GX had a couple of good cards in there. It wasn't the best GX I've ever opened because I've opened some crazy ones. I'm actually going to be opening, depending on when, you see, when you're seeing this, uh, we'll be opening a lot of GX, may, either after this or you've already seen this. I'm not sure because it depends on scheduling and, you know, I, I can't be sure when this when stuff is going to go up and everything, so... Yeah, it's, it's a mess right now, but we have three packs of Legendary Collection Kaiba. This had only three packs inside for 30, wasn't this 30 bucks? Huh, that remind people were all complaining about Rarity 2 at 30 bucks. I'm pretty sure this was 30 or 30, 30 or 35, wasn't it? For three packs. Huh, I don't remember the outrage back then. Maybe it was, I'm not sure though, but uh, interesting. So there's the promo pack right there. Uh, yeah, so three packs back then. Hmm. 
Interesting. Okay, you have to let me know what you thought about Kaiba when it came out. First Ed, Legendary Collection Kaiba. Here we go. There were some big cards in here, like Ash Blossom was in here. I think uh, Carter Demise was big when this came out. I don't know what the pack trick is. Oh, yeah, I do. It's two from the... Oh, wait, no, 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 no. It's two from the front because that's a secret rare. Two secrets in the front, two secrets in the back. That's how they did it. Blue Eyes to start off. Great start. Okay. Soul Exchange. We have the Doom Virus Dragon, a Crush Card Virus. The Fang of Critias, La Jin, the Mystical Genie of the Lamp. Melody of the Awakening Dragon, that's a nice card. Uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate, another nice card. These are first dead too, Dark Arm Dragon and Defusion. That felt like a pretty good secret rare bunch right there. Three really solid ones, then Defusion. So that one's not amazing, but here we go. Let's keep it up. One, two from the front. Yeah, we don't do that very often. We have the Monarch Storm Forth, Y Dragon Head, the Tyro Wing. Blue Eyes and Burst Dragon, Fusion Stage, Just Desserts, Chain Disappearance, Bell Beals, the Diabolic Dragon. We have Neutron Blast. Number 39, Utopia Lightning. That was a good reprint back then. That's the last one. That was not as good of a pack these days, but back then that was actually a good print. All right, last Kaiba pack. Then we have Crossroads of Chaos and an original 2003 Dark Magician 10. Here we go. Two from the front. Let's get an Ash Blossom. It's in the ultra rare slot. So Dragoonity Ducks. We have Tiger Dragon, Master with Eyes of Blue. Ring of Destruction, the Tyrant Burst Dragon, Protector with Eyes of Blue, Cost Down, Secret Rare, okay, Dragon Ravine, Silver Sky, Kulala Cry, and Sea Crush Wyvern. Okay, so definitely the first pack was our best, but we did at least get a good pack, so we can't complain about that. Okay, on to potentially what could be one of our best pulls ever if we can get the Ghost Rare right here. Ghost Rare, Black Rose Dragon, never been pulled by me, been pulled by many other people, not by me, so... This is something I've been chasing for a long time. Not opened a crazy amount of packs compared to some other sets, but you know, they're, they're hard to come by. They're pretty expensive. Okay, so if we can pull it right here for Ernesto, it'd be pretty cool. All right, the promo is an ill blood. Zombies, baby, let's go. Zombie Gemini. So, you know, he's a, he's got a couple of a couple of sides to him. And uh, yeah, yeah, you open up his, his jumpsuit there and yeah, you can see why. Three packs, ghost rare potential in here. There's also an ultimate rare. I mean, that'd be pretty big. Plague spreader would be pretty big. There's a lot of good stuff we could get. Let's see what we can do. One, two, three, I think. And probably flippity flop like that. That's probably how you do it. 2008 pack, iron chain coil, DNA checkup. We have ever living underworld cannon, Rux is special, plant food chain, zombie mammoth, morphtronic monotron, revival gift, and iron chain repairman and a power injector all right a classic psychic two packs here here we go come on give us something big right here give us the ghost rare black rose dragon can we do it one two three flippity flop floppity flip can it be a ghost rare lineage of destruction copy plan the rux is special doppelganger morphtronic magnet Poison Chain, Synchro Strike, Storm Collar Rare, and the Wall of Ivy Common. All right, 0 for 2. This is not a great start for Crossroads, but this is a very familiar feel feeling when opening Crossroads. A lot of the time, it's just nothing. Until, I mean, the best pull we've had was a Plague Spreader. That was pretty cool. That would be nice as well. But, I mean, Ghost Rare. Well, I guess, have we pulled, have we pulled the ulti Black Rose? I know we pulled the ulti Stardust, I think. I don't remember if we pulled the Black Rose. Generator, we have under, under Living World Cannon, Healing Wave, Fragrance Storm, Confusion Chaff, Omega Goggles, DNA Checkup, Tiger Dragon, and uh, Morphtronic Magnet, a dud special edition. That's unfortunate, but we still do have the biggest part of the opening. One Legend of Blue Ice Pack, one Metal Riders, one Magic Magic Ruler, Pharaoh Servant, and one Labyrinth of Nightmare, 2003-10, right here. Let's make it happen. Let's open this thing up. Here it goes. 2003-10 has been opened. The pain, it's not over. It's It just happened. You're probably still feeling it, if it being open. So sorry about that. Okay, got a little ding on it. That's okay. Old school. Old school 10. They tended to be a little beat up these days. All right, promo card. Been It's been scuffing around loose in the back of this 10. So we're on the bottom of this plastic thing. So let's hope that it hasn't moved too much. How does it look? Uh, not terrible. I mean, it does have some stuff on it, which... It all, pretty much always does, but okay, maybe, yeah, not, not, okay, yeah, they often have that big thing somewhere. 
Secret Rare looks pretty good, though. So Sintering's off and everything. I mean, this wasn't going to be graded anyway because of the back, but honestly, not the worst I've seen. So, I mean, not horrible. Maybe, is that a little bent, actually? A little warped, maybe. Okay, pretty cool card. Nice looking Dark Magician. All right, here are the five packs. Yeah, we have the red banner logo here. Yeah, right out of 2310, which is pretty interesting. Let's start off with Labyrinth of Nightmare for Ernesto. So far, pulls have been okay. I mean, they've been okay. Nothing insane. They've been all right. Let's see if we can get something big right here something awesome like a secret like an ultra one two three four from the back we have lady assailant of flames dragonic Zack, rocks and special spheres lady fusion gate used to be a big common for a while headless knight lady panther grand tiki elder cure mermaid and the secret rare magic cylinder. I did call it. I said, how about a secret rare? I mean, I said an ultra too, so I don't really get too much credit, but the secret rare magic cylinder out of a 2003 unlimited Labyrinth of the Nightmare pack. That's pretty cool. That's funny because I just pulled it the other day in the box break. So this is pretty wild. We've seen two magic cylinders recently. That is insane. Wow, that is awesome. Magic ruler, or not magic ruler, magic cylinder. We have magic ruler right there, but very, very awesome. That is, that's a great start. All right, Ernesto, let's see if we can keep that up. Pharaoh Servant, let's just pull the Buster Blader or the Thousand Eyes while we're at it. Let's just make it happen. That is pretty insane. Can we pull something huge right here? One, two, three, four. We already did pull something, so that's, that's already over what you could expect from a 10, so pretty good. Harvey's brother, we have Rain of Mercy. Type Zero Magic Crusher Inspection. Cold Wave. Gamble, Cyber Falcon, Shadow Vice, and we have a limiter removal, another foil. Okay, two for two. This tin is already insane. Limiter removal, super rare. Not bad at all. That is amazing. All right, two nice cards. Wow, what a start. All right, we're gonna do magical. Let's just keep going in order because at this point it's working really well. If we go three for three here, well, careful. Careful with that magic ruler pack. Can we get the relinquish? Can we get, uh, I think it'd be Serpent Knight out of here. Uh, there's a lot of other good stuff like Toon Summit Skull, Axe of Despair, Toon Mermaid, one, two, three, four. Here we go. Let's go three for three. Let's see if we can make it happen. Red Archery Girl. This tin has been insane so far. A secret and a super. We just need an ultra to have everything. Malevo Nuzzler, Rux Special, Ancient One of the Forest, Fire Kraken, Tyo number two, Electric Snake with that very uh, epic electric ball at the end. Minar, we have Flash Assailant, and we have three for three. Heosanru will ruin our streak. Okay. All right. Ruined our streak, but that's okay. All right. Two packs left. Because we ruined the streak, actually, we could get an original Blue Eyes. We probably should do that last. Even though I, Metal Raiders is my favorite set, we should probably save potential Blue Eyes for the end. Because, yeah, that would be pretty cool. MRD, give us a Petite Moth right here. Right now. Let's make it happen. We have Electric Lizard. Lego. Ryukishin Powered. Mystic Horseman. Rocks and Special. We have Swamp Battle Guard. Tremendous fire, Trent, Punished Eagle, and we have Little Kai. Okay, that was a pretty rough Metal Raiders pack. N none of our, none of our hits, none of our exciting cards. It was, yeah, not much. Okay, saving the last pack magic for last. I mean, Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's not a fat pack. It's just a little bit shifted over. Interesting. We have red, red banner logo, potential Blue Eyes in here. The original print. Uh, ish. I mean, so it's 2003, but the cards look exactly the same. 2002 Unlimited, 2003, unless it's a wavy or uh, glossy unlimited 2002 which are really really rare i've not pulled a original blue eyes in a very long time so this could be pretty crazy let's do it right now blue eyes dark magician red eyes exodia all amazing pulls green phantom king let's see what we can get hitatsumi giant power of kaishin petite angel larvis basic insect rantipatula book of secret arts and our last card right here of the video. Make sure to shout out Ernesto in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and you want to see more old school openings. Here we go. Oh, a flame swordsman. All right. It's not an ultra, but probably the best super in the set. One of the best ones, at least. Flame Swordsman, an absolute classic card and very iconic in the anime. That is a pretty good way to go out. That was a really, really good 10. Shout out to Toll and Fo Show, Ernesto Deanna, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Brandon Cheney, Ian Musa, Junior Barding, Robert F. Chengling, and Adelso Garcia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.